It's a beautiful day here at Balderson's Farm Market. It's hard to believe that 57 years ago, my father brought down his little red wagon from the yard loaded with strawberries for sale. It didn't take very long before he was calling up to my grandmother to bring him more. And that started a small little shop opening down here so that he could sell the strawberries and also began growing some other produce people were looking for. People who stopped roadside would ask Dad to grow other things. So he did. And now we grow just about everything you can possibly think of to serve on your plate for dinner that evening. It's very neat to watch how it's come in stages. And now we've got a good sized market that we have a lot of frequent customers. And we don't really even think of them as our customers. They're our friends. We check in with them most days just to see what they're having for supper that evening. Come on in, I'll show you around. So we've got all kinds of fresh produce on the go too already. There's so many new and different things that people never used to eat, but now we do, and they're fabulous. We've got kale, napa cabbage, kohlrabi, things that I never even heard tell of. We've got all kinds of peas, sugar snap peas, totally eat the pod, snow peas are your traditional edible pod pea, and then we've got shelling peas, which are everyone's favorite. And here, when time permits, we shell them for people, which is a great way for them to be able to put them right on their plate. They love it. Planting time is really one of my favorites, but then once the market gets busy, then I'm needed here. So as you can see, there's all kinds of fresh stuff on the go. We've got broccoli, all your spinaches and greens. There's all kinds of new lettuces on the go, um, onions different varieties of so many things that people get to taste during the summer because you can't eat all the different things all winter long. You can have your traditional things then. So we've got things like our candy cane beets. When you slice it, it's got the red and white inside. There's golden beets, which are kind of peach in color. So many different tastes for your palate during the summer season when you can eat everything fresh. That's gonna be everything today. When I first started coming over to work, it was with my grandmother. There was never a dull moment. There was always an ice cream to scoop, a floor to be swept, and I certainly learned to count back change without using an adding machine. Hi, Grammy. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm oh, just great. You're out to get some berries today. Yeah. Excellent. Grammy, I was telling them the story about how Dad brought his little red wagon down to the end of the road. And that was where everything started. So it's kind of progressed over the eras from a small little place to growing into a bigger place. And now we've got just about everything people need. So what do you remember most? I remember him selling these berries off his little wagon and calling for us to bring him some more. Some more. Yeah. And then people started asking him to grow other things. Oh, yes, yeah. But I most remember about when Grampy was here, too, was that he and I would go into the cooler to eat some cherries, and you'd get a little bit cross with us and not want us to eat the cherries. I want to sell the cherries. And then every day when we'd have lunch when I'd be here, I would make us an ice cream cone and we'd put a blueberry and a raspberry and a strawberry on top. <laughs> but just as I told you, strawberry shortcake is absolutely a specialty that I make here. Right from when I very first started, very young, I wasn't very small, but I was very young, Ice cream's always been something that we've had. Grammy always had four flavors when I started at a young age. So here's your shortcake of the morning. Oh, thank you very much. You gotta do the taste testing. I always tell mom and dad I'm the ice cream quality control. You'll never get a bad cone here. Fall decorating is really getting to be as bigger, bigger than Christmas decorating, so we've got a lot of fun time spent here in the fall, a lot of laughs over people picking out their decorations. They usually start asking for pumpkins in August. We've got so many fabulous preserves. 
all kinds of different things that local people have made for us just so that we can complete your meal. Everything that you need to have dinner from our fresh biscuits with jam. We've got everything you need for you to do your preserving on your own and you don't have to stop anywhere else. The farm home is off to the right. That's where it all started, I guess you could say. That's where the generations have come down through. Dad grew up there, and when he was only 16 years old, he bought the farm just down the road, 20 seconds, and so that's why there's the two properties where we're able to grow all our produce. So I thought we would end our tour here. This is Mom and Dad's home, where I grew up, and where all of our delicious family dinners are enjoyed. Thanks so much for taking the time to check things out with me. We are so very thrilled to be able to grow fresh produce that you can enjoy fresh from our farm gate to your dinner plate. And as I always say to mom and dad, thank you for the memories. All right, that's the bit. <laughs> All right, <thank> you. <laughs> But we, it so does, but we always had a mash and the other day mom did it on the barbecue. It was delicious. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be your first taste? Wow, can't beat that. Favorite potatoes too. I know. You just think it's a strawberry, right? But there's totally different tastes.